This video is closed captioned. Usually, the number one reason for tourism in Africa is to partake in a wildlife safari. Outdoor adventures might even be making a summit attempt for the highest peak on the continent. But there's more than these incredible adventures that await those traveling to Africa. There's something for everyone with diverse landscapes, wildlife, cultural wealth, and various unique experiences. Join us as we show you 10 unique places in Africa that you should add to your bucket list. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, as you always have fresh travel content to enjoy. Number 10. Marrakesh, Morocco This UNESCO World Heritage Site looks like it's been frozen in time. A melting pot of Arabic, French, and Berber cultures, the architecture and cuisine are sure to be exciting travelers of all types. If you're a female traveler, be aware that while generally accepting of Western attire, Morocco is still a Muslim country where women are advised to dress conservatively, ensuring your knees and shoulders are covered in the best way to respect the culture. Staying in a traditional Moroccan home is a unique experience. These riads have central courtyards and are usually adorned with handmade items from local markets. Heading home with a traditional Moroccan rug is a fine souvenir. Make sure to source rugs from cooperatives that ensure fair wages for the women who craft these works of art. Number 9. Rwanda Rwanda is called the land of a thousand hills, and it's easy to see why. Stunning scenery abounds, and the hills are filled with tea and coffee. Rwanda is also one of few countries where you can trek with endangered mountain gorillas. Aside from these magnificent creatures, the Akagera National Park is home to lions, elephants, water buffalo, cheetah, and rhinos. If your understanding of Rwanda ends with the film Hotel Rwanda and the genocide that took place in 1994, take comfort that the country has made leaps and bounds since then. It's now a bustling hub of African tourism, and the friendly residents see their future as very bright. Number 8. Lake Malawi Lake Malawi borders Malawi, Tanzania, and Mozambique and is the ninth largest lake globally. A vibrant ecosystem in its own right, this landlocked lake offers snorkeling, diving, sailing, kayaking, safaris, and birdwatching. Traditional fishing villages dot the shoreline as well. Although it's getting more recognition, it's not as frequently visited. So, it's a great place to escape some crowds. For those interested in the local wildlife, the lake is home to the widest variety of endemic fish species within lakes. You might even see hippos, warthogs, and elephants taking a dunk in the water. A few small islands exist within the lake and offer an even more secluded refuge for those willing to make the trip. Number 7. Cape Town, South Africa Cape Town stands apart from the rest of Africa, separated by a ring of mountains. Table Mountain serves as the ever-present backdrop for this city, and views from the top are not to be missed. A famous cable car takes you to the mountain, so you can enjoy the view from 3,500 feet above sea level. Explore the outskirts, including Hout Bay on the western coast. The Bay Harbor Market is stocked with freshly caught seafood, local products, food vendors, and homemade goods and crafts on select days. You can see thousands of penguins from a raised boardwalk if you make a day trip to Boulders Beach. Number 6. Kruger National Park Kruger is the largest and oldest park in South Africa. There are many safari options when you visit Africa. We'll even cover another one on this list. And they each offer pros and cons, depending on what is most important to you. But the most remarkable thing about Kruger National Park is the ability to explore on a self-guided tour. You can meander at your own pace or take part in a guided tour. There's an extensive range of activities available, and you'll likely see all of the Big Five on a single visit. Lion, elephant, water buffalo, rhino, and leopard. A bushwalk is a must, a guided tour on foot where you'll learn about flora and fauna in the park keeping an eye and ear open for big game all the while. If you enjoy our videos, join us on our journey around the world by subscribing to our channel. Please click the bell icon to get notified when we publish a new video. Number 5. Serengeti National Park Covering 5,700 square miles in East Africa, the Serengeti National Park is home to millions of animals. Suppose you're lucky enough to plan your trip during the Great Migration. In that case, you'll be in the company of more than a million wild beasts, zebras and gazelles, as they look for greener pastures across the Serengeti. This national park is also home to a different type of inhabitant. The only active volcano in the area, Old Doño Lengai. 
the Mountains of the Gods, last erupted in 2007. Aside from the big game, you may encounter spotted hyenas, baboons, or the numerous crocodiles that call the Mara River their home. The crocodiles have a never-ending buffet during the Great Migration, as the animals have to ford the Mara River to reach their final destination. More than 350 bird species are represented in the park, so there are always discoveries for visitors to make, whether it's a first or return trip. Number 4. Mount Kilimanjaro Standing over 19,000 feet above sea level, it is Africa's highest peak and the world's tallest freestanding mountain. This impressive mountain can be seen for miles around, and that's enough for some vacationers. But for most, the allure of Kilimanjaro lies in the ability to summit the dormant volcano. While you may not need to train as if you were climbing Everest, getting to the roof of Africa requires some preparation and physical ability. The climb itself takes place over five to 10 days. Seven main routes lead climbers to the summit of Kilimanjaro, with two of the routes serving as the most popular. The hike takes so long to provide ample time to acclimate to the altitude. Spending more time acclimating generally increases the chance of a successful summit. Number 3. Victoria Falls This mesmerizing waterfall is one of the seven natural wonders of the world and straddles Zambia and Zimbabwe. The thundering whitewater cascades are best viewed in Zimbabwe, as the country contains the majority of the falls. Here, you can also see the main falls, which is the largest single sheet of water in the world. But it's in Zambia that you'll have the chance to swim in Devil's Pool during seasons with low water. The aptly named feature is a rock pool that cozies up to the edge of Victoria Falls. You'll get up close and personal with the sheer drop off the fall's edge for a once-in-a-lifetime adrenaline rush. For another exciting view, but a bit less scary, cross the Knife Edge Bridge during the high water season. You'll be soaked through as you walk about 100 meters above the gorge. Number 2. Pyramids of Giza Massive pyramids exist in more places than in Egypt, but none are more iconic than these monoliths. Built nearly 5,000 years ago, the Great Pyramid of Giza is the oldest of the seven wonders of the ancient world and the only one mainly intact. You can go inside one or all of the three main pyramids and explore their depths for an entrance fee. The famous Sphinx is not to be missed, and the pyramids make for a spectacular backdrop. Top it all off with a camel ride through the desert, and you'll likely finish your trip with several bucket list items crossed off your someday list. Number 1. Zanzibar Zanzibar is a paradise of palm trees, aqua blue water, and white sand beaches. It's an archipelago of four islands off the eastern coast of Africa. However, its location in the Indian Ocean made for a fraught history. Many coveted the island for its convenience for spice and slave trade. Today, it's mostly tourism and spices. Stone Town is the older part of Zanzibar and contains the House of Wonders, the ceremonial palace of the Sultan that ruled Zanzibar between 1870 and 1888. The markets are really where it's at in Zanzibar. Head to the Darajani Market in Stone Town to find where all the locals do their shopping. It's a feast for the eyes, nose, and ears. Make sure to take your time exploring this gem of a market. Coastal waters and cities aren't all this island offers. The island portion is a dense forest and is the only place you'll find the red colobus monkeys. Tours operate in the woods and can help you maximize your exploration. We hope you enjoyed today's list. Remember, if you aren't already, subscribe to this channel for more travel content. And if you found today's video entertaining, please consider liking it to help out our channel. What animal would you be most excited to encounter in Africa? What's the tallest mountain you've ever stood atop of? Let us know in the comments below. Consider looking at some of my other videos from other amazing travel destinations. Happy traveling and stay safe. Until next time.